Good morning everyone. So I've now been about one week here in Spain and uh, I feel like I've been here for an entire month. Yesterday was really hectical. We tried the boat for the first time with the engine. It was still really scary because I, I didn't know if I could totally rely on the engine. He said he could but we had done so many things with the engine so but, and it was a lot of wind and I hadn't really steered too much with a tiller before and so it was really stressful. When we got into the marina we tried to communicate with VHF but we kind of found out that that didn't work so we just had to park. Uh, the marine people got a bit mad at us. Uh, I thought my VHF worked but apparently not so we're gonna ch we're gonna buy a handheld VHF to to figure out what's the problem and to have something that actually works. But just to summarize the entire week, it's been really a lot of to take in. Uh, it's an entire new lifestyle. We've been we've been a lot of people crammed together. Need sometimes need some free time and or space I guess but I've really enjoyed my first week and it's only been working and I'm kind of scared to venture out into the ocean with this boat because we've been working so long on it and it's like sails are a bit ripped the engine had to like change everything to be able to work uh, like it's a lot of things that could go wrong so I'm just gonna try to make sure that everything works before we head out uh, so that if the engine w doesn't work we have sails if the sails doesn't work we have the engine if none of those work we have the anchor and we have the VHF which can call for help uh, just to make sure that uh, we have this backup solution if anything goes wrong and as you probably can see uh, my glass is broke so I'm going to to visit we call it an optiker in Norway I'm gonna translate it uh, so I'm ju just using uh, gaffer tape to 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 fasten the, the glasses right now and I'm uh, Anders is leaving us <laughs> <laughs> and I have to be alone with these two <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss you <laughs> good luck <laughs> That's why I'm saying I have to be alone with these two, they're fucking weird. Like Anders is kind of normal and these two are just really, really, really weird. You're leaving me alone with these two, you know yes. that. Yes. Yeah. But he's coming back real quick. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Now, Astrid is uh, going to raise the main sail. I'll just drag this. Uh, I want you to figure it out. So now you need to figure out how can you raise this up. Yeah. Dama is giving you me some special hints. Yes. Some uh, technical feedback. Technical feedback. It's a beautiful sail, by the way. <laughs> really sandy and UV. Look and at this beauty. Rusty and everything. Uh, we got mocked when we raced it in the evening. Uh, so now people are guaranteed going to mock us for our sail. <laughs> okay, guys, here we have a scissor and some uh, tape. We're now going to uh, tape. Hiya, hiya. First, we're going to wash off the sail. But first, Mar is going to do the pussy work. <laughs> This work. <laughs> Make it's sure gonna, no dust on the sail. It's gonna wash the entire sail with that one rag. Okay, it's good now, he says. It's good now, yeah, he it's says. Good now. Just had to translate I it. Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Now we need to wait for that water to dry and then this uh, PSP tape it's supposed to be really good. I uh, I saw a YouTube video. We saw a, it on YouTube. Of a good uh, good uh, sailmaker said that PSP is like hold for ten thousand of miles. It's like so the we'll shit. try this. Great. This is probably better than my sail right now. So PSP. Don't talk mean to you your sail. You that. need to be nice to your sail. Yeah. If you learned anything from Anders, it's that you have to be nice to the things that you own. Otherwise, yeah, they will uh, not function. That's the engine. You have to you have to cuddle the engine. So now I'm cuddling the sail. Yeah, I think it works all on sail. on all types of devices. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the final moment. Now the, We've the, all been waiting for. The water has been dried, uh, so now you need to cut the corners because the corners can be cut up. So you just on top there. Okay. Can I have a scissor? Cut the corners. Uh, say please. please. Yeah. It's good way boy. less sticky than I Good thought. cowboy. Or is it this end? No. No, this is not the sticky part. No. I need adhesive. I okay. think this I, I think this was the sticky part. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got scammed. I had so good idea. I'm a sale expert. This was the tape. Okay, we try again. <laughs> So I've been going around and oiling everything on the boat with WD-40 uh, while the girls have been doing some uh, some uh, winch repair or just maintenance, uh, smearing it with new grease. This is this boat has probably not been out sailing for decades. Uh, so this is what an old winch sounds like. And now Selma hair has been really good. Now it sounds like this. Astri is sad that I don't uh, say she has done anything. You didn't acknowledge my existence though. Oh, sorry. What Have you have you done much to help Selma? Yeah, it's a 50-50 job, bro. Okay. Are you agreeing, Selma? <laughs> they are so not You're serious. Stupid. It's That's really important. Uh, Great job, Myers. Thank you. You're really good at that. A little love here as well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay guys, so the fridge is broken. And we are trying to fix it right now. I've opened up this styling here. Um, and it doesn't look like super pretty. But I have no idea how to fix this. I think this is the platina element. Which is uh, measuring the temperature in the fridge. But it's not doing anything, but the lights are on, so it gets electricity. So okay, so we're now trying to uh, short circuit the wires that led into air uh, to see if the uh, if the thing regulating the thermostat and stuff is uh, broken or if it's the compressor. So if the compressor is broken, nothing is going to happen. But if it's not broken, it's going to start uh, pumping in cold air really soon. morning guys oh, so we had to wake up at 7 to to be able to get the boat on the slip by 8 and I'm really tired because we usually sleep till 10 it's really foggy this morning we're now ready to cast up we're just doing the final stuff and getting the boat up on the bow and
they're soon going to wash the boat. We apparently cannot wash it ourselves down in Spain, or at least in Almagomar. But I, I guess in Norway we do a lot of things uh, really eff eff efficiently with at least the least amount of manpower possible. Now there was like five, six guys doing this in a bit more time than one person does this in Norway. Uh, but uh, one interesting thing, they dug this hole to fit the kill in. I haven't seen that before. And as you can see, what I really like about this boat is here you have the swing keel, which swings up with the rope attached. I'm just gonna see where I'm pointing. There, I don't know if you can see it. And it's, you can lift it in like this and it becomes completely flat and just lays. So if it's a lot of tide or something, you can just make it sit on on the ground and or if you go into somewhere really shallow it's like 0.5 meter or something i'm gonna measure that actually uh so it can fit in really tight spaces i can also steer really well because the rudder is right behind the pro propel but the rudder is really small so i have very little steerage when i'm going slowly without the the engine spinning or if I'm backing up that's also but everything is just designed so that it can lay I think it's really cool we have lifted out the oven now to get access to this valve so we need to access behind here as well, but right now we're loosening this. Num. Oh, Oh, the look the speed. Oh, fi fan. She's not exaggerating. She's not exaggerating. I thought you were exaggerating. <laughs> I didn't believe you. <laughs> I thought you were just a drama queen. <laughs> Okay, so we just got the the seacock for the kitchen to work, uh, and it worked by me pinching holes because it's shells that has grown grown through or inside the valve. So I think it's something similar here. It looks like this is the poop valve. <laughs> this is the one of these are the sea intake, and one of them is uh, the drain for the sink. So I'm just gonna start peeling on this. It's gonna be nasty if it comes something up. I think this is the water in. Yeah, because this is really easy to punch through. Yeah, this is really hard. Now Astrid is going to fill some water through the valve. And hopefully it will come through here. Or here. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, they come here, no? Ew. I'm getting it on my hands. Oh. Here in the bow, you see bare glass fiber. It looks like he has... Um, first, there is aluminium, and then there is uh, a few layers of epoxy. I don't know if it's glass. It looks kind of like glass right here. But not here. I'm not sure. Um, but you see, it's started to peel off here. Oh, it's actually holding really well here. But I think I'm just gonna try to use this and take some extra off and then prime the areas, which looks like this again. And just go over. It only looks like it's in the bow. Like, I can see, I saw another spot back here where I could, could see it. Like here. You see like some like chipped 
but I think I'm just gonna leave those few areas and it looks like here it's just aluminium and not epoxy or glass but some other places there is here it looks like primer we have a new crew Emil is going to be joining <laughs> us for five weeks it's crazy yes are you arrived. prepared <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> What are you doing, Salma? I'm <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what are you doing? Can you explain to the camera what you're doing? No, I must have a bit tat first. Please, please. You can lock. check that afterwards. What are you doing? Changing uh, sink uh, <laughs> thing. Sink thing? Sink thing on the bathroom. And how are you changing the sink thing? Sink thing with the uh, uh, snake. <laughs> <laughs> And then um, snake. Uh, How are you changing the sink thing with the snake? Snake thing, uh, screwing here. Uh. <laughs> okay, everyone, we're going to install anodes. And uh, me and Selma has been uh, knocking, uh, knocking on the hull to figure out where we want it. And we want it ish here, because then it's possible to change it after uh, when, when on, on sea. So we're gonna drill a hole through here. We're gonna make some treads uh, with this and then we're gonna smear this in with uh, with some marine grade uh, sealant and then we're gonna screw it on really tight and then uh, yeah make it make it not sink again patch the hole with this and then we will screw tape put the anode on this and screw a uh, uh, <laughs> on on hair uh, and we're gonna do that on both sides we've now marked on both sides like this just not, it, the anode is going on the other side but it's going to be under this bend so now we've researched and we figured out seven millimeter uh, is the appropriate size for this so hopefully we're right <laughs> for our M8 bolt. It feels wrong in so many ways. We now have a hole in our boat. Yeah, both make sure that. Where's the hole? Now I see that. Oh man! We're supposed to have it there, not there. I guess we have the anodes here now. <laughs> like we're kind of stupid because this is basically the floor. So I don't understand why we didn't think about that. But uh, so the hole should have been behind here <laughs> somewhere. Selma is a is a is a expert at treading. Expert. Uh, so she's going to guide us. You need some grease, apparently. Mm -hmm. On this, and then 